All right, you guys, I'd like to uh, welcome you to our first Baja Divide Rider interview. My name is Zach Johnston. I live here in Valle Asuncion. I have the famous Matt Sanchez coming in from Colorado here with me. Matt, I just got a few questions for you. First of all, welcome to our house. So glad to have you here. Thank you. It's an honor, really. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy what you guys are doing. Uh, tell me a little bit, or tell us a little bit about your background. How'd you get here? Well, I rode a bike here. Oh, yeah, yes. okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, I left in August, which is what? Six? It's the end of January, right? Yeah. yeah something like that. I forget. <laughs> so, some months ago. Yeah. It's the J January 23rd. Oh, okay. <laughs> I left on August 12th. And uh, I loaded up a bicycle and got on the bike path behind my house in Denver. And I wanted to see just how far I could get on a single bike ride. I uh, rode that out. Across the mountains of Colorado, Utah, Nevada, California, and then ended up right here at Casa de Johnson. Johnston, yeah. sorry. And uh, it's been incredible. Nice. It's been incredible. Um, right on, right on. So I know you've done some, you're, I wish we had more time to talk. Maybe we'll do a part two and part three for next time. <laughs> you've done a lot of crazy things. But uh, I really want to focus mainly on the Baja Divide. Tell me so far, what have been the highlights of your trip traveling through Baja? Hmm. I kind of think of it in two ways. The first way is the time in nature and the solitude of it and the, the quiet nights and being on the ocean do so much to like fill up my soul. Yeah. And that's just, it's incredible. I mean, wild camping on empty coastline or like the, the cereal cacti and like the forests of the cardones and cereal, like just blow my mind. I like almost cried when I saw it. But then the other thing is actually, and I don't want to sound too cliche, but it's it's the people. Yeah, yeah. It's the people, and that's the part that makes the stories, and that just fills like my heart and my head. Um, I've I've spent nights with sage pickers in the mountains and fishermen on the beaches, and stayed with families, and been given countless opportunities to have these fruitful, incredible conversations and all kinds of life advice at little grocery stores that you couldn't imagine. I now guard my shoes every night because. A man told me that the coyotes will steal my water <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if I'm yep. not watching. Yeah, right on. Well, besides beer, um, what's your favorite trail food? Great question. Uh, it's probably chokies. Nah. Now explain to the people that don't know <laughs> what are chokies. Hold up. One second. Because <laughs> I got them on deck. All right. right here in my trusty seat. This is my favorite brand of chokey. If you are getting ready to go on the trail, we got these at the gas stations everywhere. They are the Chokies Rihanna. If you want to sponsor me, please. <laughs> uh, stuffed with like little chocolate sauce, delicious. Now, as far as real trail food goes, um, Mexico is obscene for bikepacking. They have packs of beans in pouches that you can just take. You don't even have to eat them. I like to eat them, but. You just eat them at camp with tortillas. Yeah. It pa packages little nuts, fruits. So for me, it's frijoles with a little bit of cotija cheese, some tortillas, and maybe a pepper or two, and always, always finish with the chokies. Nice, 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 nice. Right on, right on. I, I, I agree with all those. Um, you know, one thing that we're trying to do here is, is we've been adventure runners and bicyclists, and we've done a lot of things ourselves. We're really trying to inspire the kids and the people of this town to be active. What is your advice for anyone that has a big dream? Hmm. Good question. Um, just start chunking at it. Just start going for it. Um, I, I was not really a natural mountain biker. Uh, I first started really honestly in college. And there was this big hill behind my house, and I wanted to ride up that hill. And the, the first time I did it, I made it maybe a third. And then I remember the first time I actually climbed the whole thing, I stopped maybe 15 times, and I was, like, dying. And then I would get on the bike and push four feet and then have to get off it. And meanwhile, there were guys just sailing right past me on bicycles every day. And, uh, and then each day it got a little bit easier. And then before you knew it, I was one of those guys sailing up the hill on the bicycle. And then here I am in Mexico on a bike ride from Colorado, and it all started because I decided to climb this hill. 
and just get on the bike and do it. Embarrass myself in front of people who were way better at it than me. But that's all right. And you know what? At the end of the day, they were stoked to see me trying to climb that hill, no matter like what the negative thoughts in my brain were. So if you want, if you have a dream or something, you know, start figuring out just how you're going to make it go and do the little pieces. And then the other ones fall into place. Yeah, it's funny. People, uh, I, I run 100 milers. And, well, I don't really run them. I, I complete 100 milers. Uh, everyone's like, how did you run 100 miles? And I always say, one step at a time. you got to take that first step. Um, so that, that's great advice. I appreciate it. Hey, one last thing. Um, what are your thoughts on Bahia Sension? I know that we're way out here in the middle of nowhere. Not a whole lot of people know about us. I kind of like that. Um, what, are your, what are your initial thoughts? It's an incredible place. It's different from what I've seen in so much of Baja. And what, what I really, really love about it is these wide open spaces. And uh, I Googled the Vizcaino Preserve is the biggest preserve in Mexico, yeah. right? So you can gaze out and see these vast, open, flat deserts with mountain ranges scattered amongst. And then you just have this town right here on this beautiful cove. And it, it's in the middle of so much space and so much nature. Uh, so far from like Highway One, yeah. it's it's a really laid back, incredible flavor, and it's a really special little place. I'm so glad you invited me out here. I would have never come, but I'm so grateful to have come. It's so good to know of this place and to get to experience it. I'm really grateful for that. Well, we we really appreciate the energy you brought to our town. Um, you know, it gets me fired up to get out and go after my dreams as well. Um, so we really appreciate appreciate you being here, and we can see your family now. And you know, uh, mi casa su casa. Cheers. So, cheers. Thanks so much for the Thank interview. You. Thank you. So.